Hello, people. This is Light My Jedi. And welcome back to some more of Castlevania Symphony of the Night for the original PlayStation. In the last episode, we explored quite a large chunk of the castle and also defeated Death. So, anyways, this episode, we're going to be exploring more of the castle. And. We're going to be wanting to swap out the sword card in favor of the demon card, just for a little bit. <sighs> and it looks like I have to go off screen for a moment. There we go. That should do it. Yep. Hmm. This switch hasn't been pressed yet. Well, sorry, demon. You can't be very useful, but I just prefer the sword. And the sword is getting another five level, uh, four and a half levels, and else of experience, and the sword can then be equipped as a weapon. Though I have no intention of doing so. Only because I find the sword to be a really good and familiar to have at your side. Especially at the higher levels. And Slog or Gaibon don't drop anything. Just figured I'd better mention that. Wow, I feel really groggy. By the way, this part is. Actually, post commentary because for some reason the and the now God game capture HD software sometimes does not have the does not record the commentary. I don't really know why. Though the rest of the audio is fine. <sighs> See how well I can keep up a half hour of post commentary. And up we go. We're not going to the left quite yet. And there's some more stuff over here to the right. Well, specifically, the final power sire that you'll find in the whole game. off the tiredness. Oh, I got a wing smash. And collide with that wall. And I'd forgotten that I'd get a buffalo star right here in this part of the castle. And I like that power sire. <laughs> I'm not sure you produce as much, but the fact that I use it so constantly. Oh, very much constantly. Okay. Oh, I was trying to do that continuous wing smash. Whatever. I'm just trying to be a little bit, see if I can be a little bit lazy, but nope. Come on, wing smash already on the card. Uh oh. In this part. I don't really, don't really want cheese with mist this time. <sighs> wow, that blood seal didn't turn resurrect fast. And whoa, what? Where did that skull come from?
<laughs> Kill a whole bunch of, of skeletons. Well, alright, well, that. Actually, you just knocked them down. Seeing that these ones don't die. And there's something there. An elixir. Okay, good. I'm just gonna sprint through those skeletons. Oh, I ran out of magic completely. Oh, well, I'm just gonna go the long way. Get rid <sighs> I mean, the slow way. <sighs> yeah, actually, I guess I'll just use the, the mana prism. I'm having a hard time grabbing it for some reason. Yeah, that should be good. <laughs> Alright. Now we're out of there. Now, time to sma wing smash. Time to wing smash farther. Yeah. Yeah, I guess better grab those. Yeah, those two skeletons didn't know it hit them. Whoa, tremendous amount of bad. And I don't really need those potions, but I'm gonna grab them anyway. Decide to grab them anyway. And there's a necklace of J that Death would have stole if we had glitched. And my light bulb is just flickering like crazy. It's starting to annoy me. Oh, that was a waste of a wing smash. Essentially, that short of distance. And here's the one of the basically the last one of the last dinosaurs you'll ever find in the game. And I'm saving here because I'm taking on an optional boss that's actually the hardest go bo a boss in the game. And his name? Well, I believe it's. Gallimoth? I'll just try to see if how much of the map I have left to do. And I've noticed that I've missed an, I'm missing an area. But I'm not sure if I'll get that right now or not. Yeah, it's Gallimoth. And good thing I have the duplicator. And we're doing a lot of damage to him. Even so, it's not really doing, it's helping much that we're getting pummeled. So I'm actually going to temporarily switch to the Chrysagrum. Yeah, was, he really he messed up my plans. Okay, good. We got him glitching out. Huh. <laughs> <sighs>
I need to do a diagonal jump there. I'm getting a, a life max up and a heart max up, both. And also the gas cloud. Which is down here on the gas cloud. It's basically an upgrade to the mist, so you can... You become toxic gas that causes harm to most enemies. The exception being a couple of... In... In... Shaft and Dracula. Is yes, Shaft is a boss in this game. This is he was in Rondo of Blood. Okay, so let's see how far we can make Smash. Man, why is why can't I make Smash as far as I want? down as I go. And I don't know if I mentioned this or not, but sometimes bats will drop uh, potions. I was hoping for a free potion there, but unfortunately, no such luck. Alright. Now we're done with the the catacombs. So time to work our way back down you know, this sh the shaft thing to you know, the uh, teleport room. It's like teleport to the reverse entrance. Trying to get through there as quick as possible, like I saw in this one speed run. And then we're, you, you, here the person was just going like crazy. <sighs> oh, sorry. I'm just really tired this morning. Yeah, it's not that boring. It's just I'm really tired. Like I didn't really get enough sleep, even though if anything, I might have got too much sleep. Anyway, it's time to fill in that one remaining spot in the caverns that we didn't get. Time to smash through here. It's actually another area that we did again. Wow, it's a amount, a huge amount of lag. And that was actually a really long extended swing smash. I was being managed to be precise enough there for the for it to not uh, make me cancel out. Oh lag! And I'm all out of magic. And let's say I got a couple of pets now. Too bad that they can't cut, just weren't able to come with me. Anyway, now that we've got the most of the entrance done, we can continue onward. Well, after getting this one bit done in the in the reverse caverns. Those cave trolls, they're not a threat to me. It's right here.
Okay, hopefully I can get this before the magic runs out. Come on, a moment. Yes! Yeah, that's a really picky spot. Okay. Time to move on again. I don't want the axe, so whatever. And there's only one do uh, Odo bird in the entire er, game. Luckily, it will respawn when you leave the room. Because this actually, both this drops are actually pretty good. The heart brooch, which halves the uh, heart consumption. And by the way, that does stack. So you could, if when you use the whole of uh, the grand cross, which is which at a heart consumption of 100 hearts, is the by far the most costly sub weapon in the game. Would only will will with two heart brooches cost only twenty five hearts. That's just a matter of shows how good it is. So I'm not really gonna be using that ability. Hey, give me back the cross. Well, that's one way to get the cross back. Yeah, I'm not sure if I cast it out there or if I he hit the wall. Oh, that didn't go quite as planned. Oh, and these Nova Skeletons? They're pretty nasty. And those traps, they do do yeah, the uh, percent uh, based damage. What I mean by percent is percent of their maximum health that you have, can ha potentially have at that moment if you're fully healed, in other words. We're still picking up lots of stuff. And the, go the Gorgon? Well, it has a, an, a, an interesting draw, a drop, and I did not mean to summon the Grand Cross. I'm going over to this other room so I can connect with the other part of the of the uh, anyway, part that I already explored. Dang it, that didn't go well. Ha! <laughs> I went th right through the stone skull. Invincible. <laughs> yeah, I better switch back to the power sire. Because there's some invisible enemies in this room, and you really never know what. Like, hey, hey, there they are, like that one there, for example. They're called bitterflies. I randomly got turquoise. Not sure where that came from. If it came from a candle or not. Man, I wish I wasn't tired this morning.
Yeah, what the heck, I guess I'll save. Just mark the progress in case of anything. You know, anything I mean, you know, in case anything bad happens. <sighs> okay, take care of this imp. Got the glass shield, but I'm not gonna use it. Alright. Got a little extra experience there. I guess I'll just save just to fill the magic up all the way. And we're getting close to connecting the, again. By the way, this is the necromancy laboratory that we're in. Hey, excuse you, lesser demon! But, like, the lesser demon actually does have a pretty good drop. The obsidian sword, which is one of the stronger two-handed swords. And yes, I'll get that big heart. Why not? <sighs> Again, I'm not bored with this. I'm just really tired today. The thing is, I slept pretty well, too. Okay, we've got that portion filled in now. The fire demon? I was hoping he would drop his rare drop item, which is a sword called Marsil, which is a fire element sword. And it's kind of a spoof of the, the sword Narsil from Lord of the Rings. Only difference essentially being, you know, name-wise, is an M instead of the F7 N. Okay, going up here, and it looks like I clipped through the part, part, a few pixels of wall. Not sure how that works, but whatever. Wait, what's that? Ooh, use that. And try to... Yeah, just examining the map. Ah, oh, this room can be a huge pain. I almost forgot there was something over here. Yeah, that would be a life mix up. Very helpful indeed. I'm just killing everything within sight. Ah, uh, of course, that would happen. Sinking traps. And Wolf, uh, uh, Wolf Dracula himself fell into those same traps. Wouldn't he be mad too? Trying to go up the middle. Yeah. 
There we go. We've got that done. And I don't need to save. I got power side uh, power cider and a duplicator to keep me safe. <laughs> and we're not gonna be too much longer before we get the end of the video off. Six more minutes. I'm really lucky I didn't get poisoned there. And did they really need to show his, that guy's guts? And that is a little bit gross. Seriously. Second ring of Arcana. There's only two of it in the whole game. Oh, dang. I miscalculated that. actually missed one room. Hmm. Part of the boss room. But whatever. When this comes through, so I'll just do a bonus video after, in which I fill it at the end. If I recall correctly, I don't actually return to this uh, yeah, it's part of the castle for the rest of the video and the rest of the game playthrough. Although at this point we've definitely got more than enough to get the best ending. Ugh. <sighs> Yeah, this portion of the castle is really picky, in a way. <sighs> yeah, but several levels. Uh, uh, flights, rather. <sighs> hey, excuse me, Cyber of Goth? I don't think so. Snipers annoy me a lot. And we missed one spot. Oh, they're just down here. I'm just making a fool of myself jumping up there. And I screwed that up horribly. And 
And I've got everything, all those rooms. <sighs> I guess I'll go ahead and make my way through the Coliseum. And the sword just leaks level 50. <sighs> now it's changed appearance. <laughs> Those Minotaurs don't have a chance against the power of Sire. Unless I walk into them. Smash out the card. Oh, got it. Uh, forgot which button to use. I missed. Yeah, actually, I'm going to go ahead and end this off. The freight and here in the Coliseum in this save room just up off screen. Anyways, folks, that's it for now. See you all in the next video, which is to be the conclusion. So, bye, everybody.